thinking critically. Have you noticed that so much of what goes on around us in politics, business, media, academics, science, courts, and even our personal lives and in our homes revolves around an attempt by one person to convince the other person that something is true? All attempts to persuade by giving reasons are called arguments. Critical thinking is using your knowledge and reasoning to evaluate and construct good arguments. At the workplace, critical thinking ranks amongst the most in-demand skills. We all possess the ability to think critically to some degree. It is our mind's immune system against untruths. We at Harappa believe that thinking critically is not for exceptional people, but for each of us. Welcome to Thinking Critically. This course is fundamental to building your think habit. In this course, you will learn how to avoid jumping to conclusions and use the ladder of inference. How to identify whether an argument is effective or ineffective. How to avoid common fallacies that affect critical thinking. How to use questions to construct arguments with clarity. How to repair arguments and make effective counter-arguments. Before we begin, let's introduce you to our superstar faculty of distinguished academics and experienced professionals. Aniha Brar Joseph Jawahar Meeta Sen Gupta Mohit Satyanand Aparna Piramal Rajay Renu Khanna Thinking Critically will take you through four modules. How to think about thinking, evaluating arguments, seeking clarity, constructing arguments. By the end of this course, you will learn, through frameworks and concepts, how to make better arguments and seek clarity through questions. Through audio clips and relevant real-life examples, this course will also show you how to avoid pitfalls when making an argument and analyzing a situation. We have several exercise sets of different formats throughout the course, inspired by principles of behavior change, cognitive science, and learning psychology. Our exercises will enable you to recall, understand, apply, analyze, evaluate, and synthesize your learning. The primer is a set of questions at the beginning of the course. It will facilitate reflection, self-assessment and goal-setting. The practice exercises used throughout the course are a critical learning tool. They appear after key concepts to help you apply your understanding. Practice exercises are not graded. The touchstone appears at the end of each module. The touchstone will be your first graded assessment. It will also provide actionable insights for your progress. We can't say this enough. Practice builds skills. So, do make the best use of our exercises to accelerate your learning. They'll ensure you reach the primary goal of this course to become a critical thinker. Let's begin. 